This is GCSE Chemistry Paper 2 in 5 minutes. Both triple and combined have 5 topics in Paper 2, so without wasting any time, Topic 6 is the rate and extent of chemical change. You need to understand the graphs for rate of reaction and what they mean. You also need to know how to calculate the rate. This is the same as how you calculate them in maths. There are many factors that affect the rate of reaction. These include temperature, concentration, surface area and the presence of a catalyst. Different ways to measure the rate of reaction during an experiment include precipitation and colour change, a change in the mass, or a volume of gas given off. You need to understand reversible reactions. This is when two reactants make a product, but then those two products can be reversed to make the reactants again. And finally, Le Chatelier's principle and the concept of a dynamic equilibrium. That is the end of topic 6, moving on to topic 7 and that is organic chemistry. Organic chemistry requires the knowledge of hydrocarbons and here is the definition of a hydrocarbon. Within hydrocarbons you need to know about alkanes and for triple students alkenes. There is a general formula and typically you need to know the first few alkanes and alkenes. Here are a couple examples. Different hydrocarbons carry different properties and these change depending on how short or long the chains are. Here are some important properties that you need to know. As you can see a longer chain is normally not as good as a shorter chain in reality. So there is a process called cracking that gets around this. Cracking is the idea that a long chain can be split up into shorter chains to give more usable properties. And another very important process within organic chemistry is fractional distillation. Here is the process described in a diagram. It basically separates all the hydrocarbons within crude oil based on the different boiling points that each of the hydrocarbons have. Moving on to topic number eight, and that is chemical analysis. You need to know about purity and what is meant by a pure substance. Next, we have formulations. Formulations are effectively a recipe that can be used in chemistry to form different mixtures. Here we have a really important one, four different gas tests that you need to know. Here are the tests for chlorine, oxygen, hydrogen and carbon dioxide. Please pause here, learn and understand them. And the final part of topic 8 is paper chromatography. This is a process used to separate mixtures by using the properties of water. Once the experiment is complete, you can calculate RF values on the different substances. We're on the second to last topic now, and this is topic 9, chemistry of the atmosphere. First of all, we have the evolution of the atmosphere. This comes in three stages. Phase one is where volcanoes gave out gases, so the atmosphere was mostly made up of carbon dioxide. Phase two is the formation of oceans, algae, and green plants. This absorbed a lot of the CO2 through photosynthesis. And finally, phase three is where green plants and the algae produce oxygen. Again, through that same photosynthesis process, the carbon dioxide is converted into oxygen, and now the atmosphere is balanced out to how we know it today. Next, we have climate change and greenhouse gases. Greenhouse gases include gases such as the ones you can see here. They form a layer around the Earth, which effectively traps the sun's radiation inside our atmosphere. This is called the greenhouse effect. Here is a diagram showing that, and one of the problems with the greenhouse effect is climate change. And finally, carbon footprints. This is a way to measure sustainability and is also very important to try and reduce a carbon footprint as much as possible. And the final topic, topic 10, is using resources. The first subtopic talks about sustainability. One example of sustainability in modern life that you need to know about is the extraction of copper from more sustainable methods. These include bioleaching and phytomining, as you can see here. Next, we talk about the process of recycling and how it's important. Something that goes alongside recycling is an LCA, a life cycle assessment. Every single product that is created will go through a life cycle assessment. This evaluates the sustainability and the environmental impact of that product throughout its lifetime. And finally, another big one that you really need to remember is potable or potable water. This is the process of taking dirty water and cleaning it to a state where it is drinkable. It is quite a long complicated process that branches off in a few different directions, but again something I would 100% recommend learning because I can almost guarantee it will come up at some point. And that sums up the end of GCSE Chemistry Paper 2. Thank you very much for watching. I really wish you the best of luck in your exam. As always, please like and subscribe if you found it useful, and I will see you in the next one.